Hi, I'm Shane with eTarget.com. Today I'm going to walk with you how I installed the Brake Buddy Select 3 Portable Supplemental Braking System on your 2017 Ford Edge. The braking system is going to be required by law in any vehicle being flat tow. It's going to be one of the main components to getting your vehicle set up to be flat tow behind your RV. The difference between a portable system or transferable system and a uh, permanent install is the permanent install is going to stay on the vehicle. With the portable transferable system, if you decide to buy another car, that system can be taken and used in that other car once it's set up to be flat towed. This is what our brake buddy is going to look like when it's installed in our vehicle. It's going to sit in the driver's side floorboard. It's going to attach to our brake pedal with a clamp. You have your power cord that plugs into a connector that's mounted on the dash that connects to the battery underneath the hood or out in the engine compartment. Our brake buddy is going to have four legs. They are going to be adjustable to fit the contour of your floor. If you notice, our front ones are out. Our back ones are set up because they're sitting kind of on a hump. So when setting it up, you just want to make sure that the arm going to the brake pedal is sitting level. The arm here, it is a folding arm, so when in storage, you fold it down. When you're ready to use it, you fold it up, and it's designed to sit or rest right up against your seat. This is where your braking system is getting the pressure to apply the brake on the brake pedal. Our handle is going to have a nice foam pad. It's going to be a non-slip pad, so it's going to make it very easy to, to uh, when it's folded down, to carry it around and to put it in storage. Our power cable. It's going to have easy pull rings on it. It's going to make it easy to connect and disconnect so you're not actually pulling on the cable and damaging the wires. Now looking at this box, you may think it may be a little bit heavy. It's not. This box only weighs about 12 pounds, so it's going to be very easy to set in place and to remove and to put it in storage when you're not using it. Brake Buddy is going to come with a battery charge setup. And what this does is it has a wire that runs down to the six pole plug. While it's being flat towed, it's going to maintain a charge on your battery. It's going to trickle charge your battery. The reason you need this is the Ford Edge requires you to have a battery shut off on it or requires you to disconnect the battery. However, the braking system has to get power from somewhere, so it has to be connected to the battery. If you don't have battery charge, what happens is maybe you're driving eight hours down the road. As you're using that braking system, it's drawing power from the battery, potentially draining the battery. This is gonna save that. It's gonna maintain the charge on the battery so you don't get where you're going and have a dead battery and have to rely on somebody else to help you out. Brake Buddy is gonna come with a breakaway switch. And what this does is it's gonna be a secondary safety device in case your vehicle comes disconnected from the motorhome or from the tow bar. There's gonna be a wire that connects to this ring from this ring to the motorhome. If it comes disconnected, it's gonna pull this pin out. The Brake Buddy is gonna apply the brakes inside the vehicle, bringing the vehicle to a stop. Brake Buddy is also gonna come with a monitor that mounts inside the RV. It's gonna be app battery operated as well as 12 volt. With the battery operation, that makes it wireless. You have an on and off switch here. You can turn it on. If you're not wanting to use the battery, you simply plug it into a 12 volt outlet and it powers up. On the top of our Brake Buddy, you can see we're gonna have a nice, easy to read screen. This is going to be what your sensitivity is set at. Again, this is going to be proportional, so it's going to match the braking pressure applied in the RV. The higher this number, the faster this system is going to apply the brakes, which means it's going to have a higher sensitivity. These numbers here, you can see it's at four. This is about midway for sensitivity setting. Uh, the farther you go up, again, you go up to seven, the harder the brakes are gonna apply, the faster they're gonna apply. So uh, when you're setting the system up, if you go for a ride, you wanna get over 15, 20 miles an hour, apply the brakes and if it feels like the car is either pulling on the RV or um, pushing the RV, you wanna just adjust the sensitivity setting with the plus or minus sign here. Once you put it in place, you get it all set up. You're gonna push this auto start. It's gonna bleed the brakes, and it'll, it'll come on, the light will come on here. It'll say bleed brakes, push the auto start. It's gonna apply the brakes on the vehicle, 
about five times. And then once it's done cycling through, it'll say normal and you're ready to go. As far as the installation on this system, it's gonna be a very simple, straightforward installation. It's gonna come with all the necessary hardware and it's gonna come with all the necessary wiring. Let's go ahead and walk you through how we installed it. We can start here with the battery charge. It's gonna mount outside underneath the hood. You're gonna have three wires coming off of it, black, white, and red. Black is gonna be your power wire. It's gonna run over and connect to the positive side of the battery. White wire is gonna be ground. I grounded mine right here to this factory ground. And your red wire with the fuse on it is gonna run down. It's gonna connect directly into the six pole plug. So next you need to mount this plug. You need to mount it somewhere on your dash. On the back of the plug, this wire needs to be run out through a grommet, which is right up here in the corner of the firewall. You're gonna have four wires on it. Black wire, white wire, red and brown. White wire is gonna be a ground. It can be grounded the same place we did the battery charge. Red wire and brown wire are gonna to connect to the breakaway switch. Black wire is gonna be connected to the positive side of the battery. Now, you'll notice that we have ours in, we didn't run it out. That's because they had an older brake buddy set up already in here. So this wire that you see here that's connected to my red and brown wire, these two wires were actually connected to the uh, the other breakaway switch that was on the vehicle. So all I did without having to take this and trying to feed it through that grommet, I just cut off the two ends that plugged into the older brake buddy system and connected those my red and brown wire directly to it. And then on the outside where this is running down to the front of the car, I just connected it to the new breakaway switch. With my power wire or my black wire, I just added a wire on it. The only thing I had to do was run one single wire through that grommet, which was very simple and connected to the positive side of the battery. Ground wire, I just grounded it to the factory ground or to a ground right here on the uh, firewall here. Now, if you're in a situation that we're in where we were able to use uh, wiring that was already ran, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take the wiring, kind of curl it up, and you're gonna tie, zip tie them up to some factory wiring up behind your dash out of the way. Before you set it in place, you're gonna wanna adjust your legs. Uh, it is gonna come with a little wrench if you can't grab it and do it. You're simply gonna turn it and you can adjust the height of it. And then lock it into place. Next, you're gonna have a little adapter like this. It's gonna screw right on the end of this rod. You wanna make sure it's turning up and down. We'll set it down into place, make sure our feet are adjusted properly. We wanna make sure that this arm is going straight at the brake pedal. You're gonna have a clamp that looks like this. You're gonna to need to adjust it so that when you clamp it down onto your brake pedal and you slide this lever over, it clamps onto your pedal tight. You simply do that by loosening it up and you spin it and the bolt moves. Slide your lever over, separate them, go up from the bottom, clamp it down like that, and you'll slide your lever over and it locks into place. You're gonna have a pin that looks like this. You're gonna slide it through like that, and you're gonna have a clip that holds it in place. Then we're gonna move our seat up to no farther than a quarter inch from the handle. Roll of thumb, I like to actually touch the handle myself. Then we're gonna connect the wires. You're gonna connect the black end into the plug. The gray end's gonna go right into the front of the brake buddy. Once you plug it in, you're gonna hear it perch. It's gonna say bleeding brakes or bleed brakes. You're going to push the auto start, and it's going to apply the brakes. Once it's done, it's going to say normal, and the purging will shut off. Once you have your unit set in the vehicle, you go ahead and test it out. You can see where the sensitivity is set on four. You can see that our pressure, or PSI, is at 45. When you put your monitor 
in the RV, you want to make sure that the sensitivity is set on the same number. If for some reason your system comes up LL here, what that means is that your system here is not, um, is not connecting with the unit in the RV. File the instructions are very simple on getting the two to connect back together. With all that being said, that's going to do it for a look at and installation on the Brake Buddy Select 3 portable supplemental braking system on our 2017 Ford Edge.